formatting MLA citations, really formatting a works cited page. So let's begin here. To correctly format a works cited page and its citations, we're going to have to put the words works cited centered. The works cited page always begins a new page. So we put in works cited, both words capitalized, and notice we are in an incorrect font, Arial 12. So make sure that you are working in Times New Roman 12 point. I'm going to enlarge this image a little so it's a little more friendly to see. Now we go down to the next line and we're going to turn off the center and go back to left justified. We want to be double spaced. We're at single. We're going to go double. OK. And now we're going to paste in our citation. Paste with this, or I'm just going to go Control V. And we are double spaced. Now we're still in the wrong font. So we're going to make sure we change this to Times New Roman 12 point. Now there's some extra and incorrect information. So let's go little by little. We're all right up to here. But we don't need the word summer here. Just the year will suffice. EBSCOhost and sometimes you'll have the URL here. We don't need any sort of URL or anything along those lines. We want to have a period at the end of this. And EBSCO host really isn't very good information. We want the specific database that we used. So if, for example, you used Academic Search Complete, you would type in here Search Complete. And it should be italicized. Now we have the matter of, I may have created too much space here, so we're going to just make sure all of this is double spaced. Good. Now it looks correct. We also have the matter of a hanging indentation. Notice the first and the second line here are both flush to the left margin. That's not correct, and you don't want to just tab over because it, it can cause problems. So highlight your citation. You may have to do this individually with each one. And come over here, and look where it says special, none. Change that to hanging, and when we say OK, watch what happens. Now the software has done it for you. And we can go down to the next line. And of course, it's back to the flush to the left margin, anticipating your next citation. Make certain that all your citations are in alphabetical order by author's last name. So if the next citation we put in, the last name is Burns, well, that would have to go above Zibrak. Has to be in alphabetical order. All of these things earn you points or lose you points. The professionalism and the correctness of your work cited page goes directly to the grade that your assignment can receive. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.